All, All right. right, welcome back. Welcome back. It's time for us to get into a very interesting conversation. Uh, we've been joined on the set um, by some people from a very important school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, St. Peter's is the only school on the ridge. <laughs> 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 All right, so we have uh, two Pesco bands here, uh, Richard Osei in Nim, uh, who is the former global president, and he's going to be the keynote speaker also at the homecoming. And then we also have Ob Obed Taylor Afari, he's a member of the Pesco band communications team. Gentlemen, you're both you're welcome. welcome. Thank, Thank you. you welcome. And if there are any, you know, Pescobans listening yeah, or watching, watching. <laughs> make sure that you send us a message. We want to hear what you're thinking. Yep. 0550-585-832. Or you can use the hashtag Breakfast Daily across all social media platforms. Gentlemen. Yeah. So, yeah. 65 years. Yes. It's not easy. At your all. retirement. <laughs> no, 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 we are not about to fire on all of this. You know, we're just warming up. Uh, 65, well, Ghana's independence yeah. just yes. around the same time. Yes. Um, yes. It's, it's an interesting time for us to reflect, to review, see where we've come from mm. and ultimately where we're going. Yeah. And for, I mean, I, I, I ran the association for four years. Okay. And even in that short space of time, uh, education globally either has changed or yeah. is changing at a rapid pace. Yeah. Uh, my father says something as like, if you're on a race and you are kneeling down for the starter's gun, mm. then, then you're part of the race. Mm. In some spaces, we haven't even come to kneel down, down to there. begin yeah. to be part of the race. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And that's something we recognize in St. Peter's uh, about education. And um, we've traditionally been a science-focused school. Mm. I mean, I always make noise that, look, if you go to tech or Legon or yeah. go to any hospital or whatever, if you don't get 90% of the, the doctors are from yeah. St. Peter's, there's something wrong with that space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just something that banter with three seconds. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, what you call Every it. seconds will come through. I know, I know, I know. I'm waiting for them. We just beat them yesterday, actually, yeah. on the Sharks yeah. uh, quiz. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, so it's a, it's a good high to be to be going to uh, St. Peter's with. Um, what are some of your fond memories from school? Uh, you know, formative part of it, you actually do a bit of your growing up in school. Yeah. We probably went to Form 1 when I was about 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. So these are people, we went in there, about 120 of us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three classes, A, mm. B, C. Mm. Um, in St. Peter's, if you wake up at 4 a.m. and people are sleeping and there's something wrong. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's in class studying. I mean, we are surrounded by... Whoa! We are surrounded on three sides by a forest. We are thrust okay. in the middle. The only entrance is the gate. Oh. Well, people have all sorts of yeah. unauthorized yes. routes <laughs> to town. <laughs> yeah, but the, the kinds of competition mm. that existed as far as studying was concerned, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, no, 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 it's, you are there to study. Mm. Um, so that was one. Uh, that whole environment, the culture, uh, camaraderie. Um, I remember it, it, when we were in Form 1, if you are misbehaving and the teacher comes mm. and asks who is responsible, we all go down, one for all, <laughs> all for one, you know. Um, so the, the, the culture, the, 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 we, we, our motto is the dignity of, uh, mm. of, of all, all man, or yeah. uh, dignitati hominum. And it's the kind of things we involve, we're involved in uh, socially, economically. If you go around, if you go around um, Ghana and mm. all parts of the world, you see St. Peter's boys yeah. uh, littered all over the place, yeah. doing weird and wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's kind of an environment which fosters excellence. Uh, integrity yeah. and pretty much sort of excel mm. uh, yeah. do, do, do achieve yeah. your, your best with the kind of support network that, mm. that, that we have yeah. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Fond memories What yeah. year did you finish? 2006. Okay. okay. Is a, will you be a Gen Z? Is he a Gen Z? <laughs> no, he's a, a millennial. millennial. He's a millennial. Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think global president, they set the tone for us. So mm. uh, it's, it's all about learning, learning, learning. So just like he said, by 4 a.m., we are already learning. We are already in class. And we could even learn till late as 12. We come to the dormitory. We do three hours sleep, four hours sleep sometimes. You feel 
aimless when you are you seen asleep. sleeping by five. <laughs> and wow. I mean, others are all in class. That's so what are you doing? Peer pressure that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, aside that, uh, some memories of uh, right after school, you realize that anyway, going to a school like St. Peter's shaped you mm. mentally uh, to face tough situations mm. in life as mm. you go along. Mm. And you realize that there are brothers all around that can yeah. help you raise you up. So yeah. the camaraderie, the, the learning as well, I yeah. mean, you cannot go beyond that. Talk to us about your Fuck off legacy project, okay. which is a smart lab um, facility. Mm. Okay. Um, I started by talking about education mm. changing. Mm. Our current education system, I, I can talk about Africa because I work across, okay. across Africa, uh, different African countries. Our current educational system in, in Africa is pretty much anachronistic. Mm. It was designed for uh, first, second industrial type revolutions yeah. where everything yeah. was automated, yeah. uh, repetitive. Mm. Yeah? Now we've got third and now fourth industrial revolution. Is our education actually fit for purpose mm. for a fourth industry? If you have kids, yeah. I challenge you to go look at their syllabuses mm. and do a content analysis. Mm. Yeah. Tell me if they're doing anything around global citizenship skills, mm. uh, innovation, yeah. creativity, yeah. Uh, what do you call it, a lifelong learning and all those mm. things. Yeah. But in a fourth industrial revolution context, your education must be tailored to that. For St. Peter's, we're yeah. starting the conversation by installing Smart Labs. A Smart Lab okay. is just a tool mm. for the students to receive curated content okay. around the areas I mentioned, but coding, robotics, AI. I mean, yeah. we're setting up a full lab Fantastic. focused on artificial I intelligence. I I've, I've been hearing the conversation, sitting in a reception, uh, the conversation you've been having about all the challenges that mm. we're having. Mm. No, right here uh, in Ghana now, you mm. have an issues with plastic. Mm waste, yeah. uh, recycling, and so on. If you take global citizenship skills, for instance, mm. how does env the environment have an impact on, 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 on the students? Right. Environment, sustainability, governance. If you live in a cocoa growing area now, mm. Galamse is depleting your farms, your, your yeah. farms yeah. And, and, and so on. Yeah. How Rapidly. does that have an impact on your parents' mm. uh, income? Mm. Mm ultimately have an impact on the quality of life yes. exactly. as a student. Yeah. So these are the connected types of learning yeah. that we're introducing in St. Peter's. We're starting with the labs, but ultimately, when you enter St. Peter's mm. in the next few years, mm. you will have to have a tablet or a laptop, just mm. like we were asked to bring cutlasses and whatever, yeah. uh, when I went to yeah. Foreman in 1986. Yeah. Uh, a tablet or a laptop becomes mm. uh, imperative yeah. for you to be able to, to, to access the kind yeah. of information that we are going I love it. And ultimately become a smart school. Yeah. Mm. You know, a yeah. fully connected smart school. Yeah. So um, it's happening globally. Mm. And Africa, we're reluctantly being grabbed <laughs> uh, and pulled along. Yeah. Uh, the current Minister of Education is doing fantastic in terms of introducing STEM schools and so on. But it's really just scratching yeah, the, the surface. surface. Really. It's a conversation yeah. that we need to have serious conversations. I'll, I'll challenge you guys, go and study your own uh, curriculum for your, your, your kids mm. and come back and let's have that kind of conversation. Mm. Yeah. It's important that we start yeah. grooming uh, students for the future of work. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. So um, any, any things that you want to you know, bring to our attention as far as the rest of the week is concerned? Because I know you started um, on the 6th, right? Yes. Oh, no, we we starting tomorrow. Okay, okay. starting tomorrow. Yes, okay. yes. So tomorrow is the arrival for the homecoming. Okay. And then um, on Saturday we'll have a speech and prize giving day. So all students are going to sleep in school. Oh no, we or will around be, school. Yes, around school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the hotel. What happens on the rich? What happens on the rich? Stays on the rich. So we'll be having a speech and prize. It's the fifth speech and prize. Mm. And yes, and then. We'll have a Congress, uh, annual Congress, right after that. And we'll be having some time with the school kids. Uh, we'll have breakfast with them, we'll have dinner with them. And then in the evening, old boys will have some party time at the Rock City. That's yeah, so right. true. Uh, so on yeah. Sunday, we do Thanksgiving <laughs> with, the, uh, with the kids in the school doing mass service. And then we, we depart. So these are the arranged programs for us during the weekend. Like so we encourage all old, old boys to join us 
uh, when they reach this weekend. Mm. Uh, Most going... importantly, they should donate. They so, should so donate. They should just come and chill. No, donate. <laughs> D-O-N-A-T-E. -E. <laughs> donate. <laughs> you know, most, it's extremely difficult running alumni entities. We're mm. only about maybe five. This is not even 80-20. Yeah. Uh, what your Pareto mm. principle. principle yeah. Yeah. No. About only 5% of... And it cuts across most alumni. Yeah. Uh, True. What you but call, I you think know? the problem actually... This is what I think. Mm. The problem actually is because we... We, we've, we've, we've been able to strengthen our alumni mm. in the secondary schools yes. as opposed to the mm. tertiary. Okay. I think that one of the successes of alumni in other jurisdictions mm. is because theirs is focused at the tertiary level. Yeah. And wow. that's, the, yeah. that's the difference. There, there, there is that. I mean, when you look at a Harvard, uh, what do you call mm. it, uh, endowment, yeah. it's actually the GDP yeah. of some, yes. some, some, exactly. some, right. some, oh, yes. some, right. some countries. Oh, yeah. But, but, um, but then the cultural context is also different. Let's not forget the, the way we, we run the culture of yeah. our second cycle yeah. educational institutions. Yeah. Yeah especially the boarding school elements yeah. where mm -hmm. you're spending your formative years yes. with people. Mm -hmm. So your real friends are from uh, secondary there. school, not yeah. necessarily there. from the university. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so maybe the, we need there, to have conversations that. about that there, too. There is that. And I, 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 I follow the uh, University of Ghana, even though I and, and tech and all those mm -hmm. uh, universities and the struggle that they yeah. have to so actually struggle. raise money mm -hmm. for, for, for projects. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we're starting with a smart lab. We will ultimately Super. look at uh, it becoming a smart school. The vision actually is to have a university college. I mean, we sit on 110 acre property. It's huge. Yeah. To have a university yeah. college that focuses on uh, the future of work, mm. artificial yeah. intelligence, machine learning, and, and, and so on. So that's it. Because if you think about it, you look now, if you're training your kids now to go into certain professions, mm. in the next 10, 15 years, those It'll professions won't yeah. Yeah. exist. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so it's not in the shape in which they are. No, now. no. So, so, so consider your return on investment <laughs> as far as your education is yeah. concerned. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much morning. for having us. Thank you, All gentlemen. Right. And we wish you the best of the week and Thank the weekend. You. And happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Breakfast Daily, there's a lot more coming up.